Hey traders, Jason here from Leva Brothers. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some long-term Bitcoin stocks. Okay, Bitcoin's doing really well. It's up over 50,000. If it could hold this level, go to the high. If it can get to the high and hold that level, who knows, maybe 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, you don't know. Okay, so, and if that happens, even if it doesn't go up to like 150, 200,000, even if it just goes up to the high and maybe goes beyond the high a little bit, the big money is gonna be made taking some outsized positions and then riding them for four months, six months, eight months, not trading in and out. So in this video, I want to talk about some of the longer term Bitcoin stocks that I like the best. Okay. The ones that I think are, I don't want to say the lowest risk, but have like the combination of highest probability of going up and going up quite a bit. So let's get to it. All right. So first of all, here's Bitcoin. Um, You've probably seen this. You know the chart, okay? It was you know down at uh, you know sixteen thousand or so back at the end of two thousand twenty-two. Everyone was predicting it would drop to ten thousand. It didn't. You can see it moved up and then moved sideways, moved up, faded, moved up again, faded, and then it's you know since since early October it's gone. It, it went up you know quite a bit. Um, pretty much has doubled with a with several weeks. This is the weekly chart with several weeks off here. So now we're up over 50,000. If we can hold up over here, okay, and I'm not going to pick an exact level. I mean, it could it, it could fall all the way back down to the 21 week mo moving average, which is the orange line. Uh, it could certainly do that. I don't think I'd want it to fall all the, all the way to the 50. That would destroy the uptrend. But I'm not going to say it has to hold a certain level other than maybe the 21 here. It doesn't have to hold 50. It doesn't even have to hold 48. 46. Um, it could fade backwards. It could get rid of that stuff. It could, uh, you know, it could chop, you know, down over the course of, you know, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. It's all fine. Okay. As long as it mostly holds up and doesn't actually break its uptrend, I think the odds of coming up, going up to 68,000, which was the high, uh, the previous high are very good. Okay. So Bitcoin's done great. It's got a good vibe going. I do think I think there are pretty good odds it gets up to the high as long as it could maintain its gains and not break this uptrend. All right, now let's get into some of what I consider to be the best charts out there. All right, so the first three are what I consider to be the top three charts uh, in no particular order. This is uh, BITF. You can see long base went back, whatever that is, 18 months, breaks out over here above two bucks, volume, super strong, pushes up to three and a half, fades back, tests that $2 level, okay, which, you know, resistance becomes support. Also, this orange line here is the 21 week moving average. So it, taste, it successfully tested both those. And then it ran up to a higher high is like, I don't, again, I'm not going to pick a, a, a magic level here, but as long like this could fade backward for several weeks, that's perfectly fine. But as long as the damage done on any type of backwards fade is minimal or the volume falls off, I think the stock will be well positioned to lead Bitcoin stocks higher. From a structural standpoint, this chart just looks fantastic. To break out of a base on volume, come back down and test, and then push up, that's really good price action. Next up among my top picks, CLSK. Um, so this stock wasn't even on my, well, it was on my radar, but it wasn't one of my top picks until just the last couple months. Um, and you can see here, it kind of came out of a base here. If I could draw a trend line there at like seven bucks, you can see it kind of, it broke a trend line here, faded back, broke it, and then broke out of that trend line and got above seven. And once it got above seven, we have a huge surge in volume here, runs up to 13, close to 14, fades all the way back to the 21 here. So it's four weeks it spent at the 21 and then it just took off um, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Today it's down like eight, 9%. Um, so I don't have a magic level in mind here. There is no, we're kind of in no man's land. There's no resistance. There's no support anywhere close by, but it's, this is like, this has shown itself to be one of the, like probably the strongest Bitcoin stocks right now. So it's on my radar. I don't know where this pullback is going to go. It could go a couple weeks, I don't know. Maybe it moves. Maybe it just. Maybe everything just kind of trades sideways in a range here. Um, you know, if you look at say this candle, maybe everything is contained within that candle. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just identifying it as one of the stronger Bitcoin stocks that are out there, and it's one that we definitely want to buy on a dip 
um, when the current dip ends. All right, next up, Mara, another really good acting stock. Um, you, you can see long base resistance level at 20, you know, support at 20 there, 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 resistance there, resistance there. So 20 has been a key level, broke out. You can see volume ramped up over here, got up into the 30s, came all the way back down. And once again, here's that level again. They all, all of these stocks have tested their 21 week moving averages for a few weeks. And then Bitcoin took off again. So um, I'm looking at this as resistance somewhere up above 30 and support somewhere down near the 21. And the 21 is, whoops, that's not what I want. And the 21 is, you know, angling up kind of like that. Okay, so as long as the stock gets, it stays within that range, gets compressed by those levels, pressure will build. And when the stock breaks out to the upside, uh, the stock can go flying. So if Bitcoin holds up where it is right now and eventually breaks out and and runs up to its high, Mars is definitely going to break out at 30 and go easily 40, 50, maybe higher, depending on how big, how high Bitcoin goes. From a structural standpoint, this looks really good. Big long base, breaks out on volume, now consolidating. Um, I'd like it to quiet down, get the range smaller because this range is huge. It's 15 to 30. It's a hundred percent range. Um, you certainly, you know, you could buy dips within that, but you're not going to, you know, if the stock's down to 20, you're not going to wait until it breaks out at 30 to buy it. You're going to be buying a dip, adding along, uh, al along the way, you know, using daily charts, using, you know, the hourly charts. And then when it breaks out at 30, you can add to your position and then sit back and just to the best of your ability, ride it. If the market will let you do that. All right. Now a couple now, the next two stocks I'm going to show you are going to be like one tier down. I don't know anything about these companies. I don't know which ones. I don't know even any. I don't even know any of the metrics that Bitcoin stocks get judged by. I only know the chart. So those first three that I just showed you were the best ones that are acting from a structural and from a chart standpoint. These next two are are the next tier down. This is a CIFR. You can see, you know, kind of around a bottom pattern here. Try to break out over here. Volume, eh, so it fades back down, pushes up again over here. Volume, much better this time, and then faded back down, and then we got you know back to back up weeks on huge volume. But that was given back. I don't, I I, I prefer to play a different stock because I consider this one to be kind of loose. Okay, we got a higher high here, and then a couple weeks later we got a lower low there. It's kind of loose. It doesn't have like the free flowing <clears throat> price action I like to see. It's acting well. Okay, if I were to get rid of that stuff. I it's acting well from the standpoint of we have this bottoming pattern and then we have, you know, it's kind of basing at a higher level. So I think it has potential. And if the, you know, and if these, if the entire group moves, this stock's probably going to, you know, it's pretty cheap. It's only five, six uh, right now. It's uh, what is it right now? Three and a half. You know, if it breaks out of this box here, it's, you know, it could certainly double up to 10 bucks. Um, so for a percentage basis, it's, it's, it's got some good upside, which is why it's going to be on my list. Um, I just don't like how loose it is. All right, the next one is Riot. Um, similar to the last one, except you can see the price action, just much smoother. You know, trends down, trends up, trends down, trends up. Nice smooth price action. You got nice rounded bottom pattern here. And now the stock has spent most of the last, I mean, you can go back over here and say it, it has spent most of the last like 10 months just between 10 and 20 bucks. Okay, you're not going to wait for a breakout at 20. If it breaks out at 20, I think easily the stock goes to 30, possibly up to 40, depending on what Bitcoin's doing. You're not going to wait till it breaks out at 20 to ride it. Okay, so you're going to buy a dip, and then if it can't break out, then you're going to take profits, and you're going to buy a dip, and if you can't take profit, and if it can't break out, you're going to take profits. You're going to trade in and out a few times, but then when it gets above 20 and establishes itself, you're going to want to add to your position and then sit on your hands and try to the best of your ability to ride it because at that point in time, the big money will be made in riding a position for a few months, not trading in and out. All right, so those are the next two tier. Now I'm going to show you a couple others. These are stocks that probably are going to move up big percentage wise, but right now they're still stuck in a range, uh, in a base and they haven't shown much life. All right. So here's first one, BTBT. You can see basing underneath five bucks. It's had some huge rallies. You know, this one goes one to five. This one went two to five, came back down above two. You're not going to wait until it gets above five in order to play it because you, it, the stock will have already moved, you know, 50 to 100 percent. So you could zoom in on smaller time frame charts, buy dips, buy little breakouts within smaller patterns that form. And then if it gets above five, great, you can add to your position. 
stock easily you know, if it breaks out there and Bitcoin goes up to its high, this stock easily probably goes up to like eight or 10, but you just got to know that it's been basing for two years. And so far it hasn't been able to break out. All right. Next one, same category, Hive, similar situation. The stock has had some good rally attempts, rally attempt here, good volume, um, rally attempt off the low here, good volume, rally attempt over here. We got, you know, huge volume, huge volume. Everything looks good. Uh, you can even draw a trend line coming all the way back to here and just saying like, Hey, all the price action has been contained, you know, within there going back, you know, 20 months, 21 months. So if it can break out, uh, along with, you know, Bitcoin doing better then I think the stock goes, you know, at least six to 10, maybe six to 12, say on a percentage basis, I, I you know, it, it has huge upside potential, but so far, I just keep in mind that every single rally, this, you know, that's a nice rally, gave everything back. That's a nice rally, gave everything back. Every rally is, even though it's, they've been really attractive rallies, big percentage moves, lots of volume, they've stalled and, and reversed and give it everything back. So it has great potential, but just hasn't happened yet. It's not like Mara or one of the other ones that actually broke out to a new high. All right, last one, Wolf, Terra Wolf, similar situation, got a long base going back to, you know, last May, last April. Or so, so we're talking about like a 20, 22, 21 month base. You can buy a dip if it breaks out, add to it, push it. But until that happens, you gotta, you know, not be, don't get overly optimistic. Okay, we got support there at four, resistance there at four, resistance there at four. Didn't even get close to four there. So the stocks, if you know, nice long base. You've heard like the bigger the base, the bigger the space, or whatever the stupid cliches are. It's got potential to do really well. But as of right now, it hasn't been able to break out. Um, so I definitely, but I, I think you can buy a dip here, add to the position on the way up. If it breaks out, double up. If it doesn't break out, then take your profits and move on. All right, so that's it. Um, just to reiterate, one one thing I said probably once or twice is that if 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 Bitcoin could hold its gains and go to the high and maybe even take out its high, the big money is going to be made like you know, taking a sizable position in some of these stocks and riding them for four months, six months, not trading in and out. Okay. So to me, they're worth, it's worth buying a dip. And then, you know, if you buy a dip and get stopped out, buy a dip, get stopped out, buy a dip, get stopped out, it's all good. And, and then if you can nail 50, 75, 100% moves, you'll, you'll make all that money back pretty easily. All right. Hope you got something out of this. I'll see you next time.